What's up, YouTube? Big Niles here again with another Black Ops commentary. But this time, I got something special for you all. Well, not really, but you know, I got something special to tell y'all. I recently got offered a chance to be on a Virgin Gaming's channel, and I took it up. So here's my video for them. And I guess since it's going up for them and I'm new to their channel. I'm gonna just give him a rundown, and that was a nice two-piece for the game when he kill cam. So, uh, basically, my channel is first-person shooter commentaries, and when I hit a certain mark, I guess if you wanna say like a uh, achievement. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. That was a doozy. Took a while to get out. If I have a certain achievement with my subs, then I make a montage like my earlier one that I did for when I got 10 subscribers. And now I have 16, so I'm well on my way to 50. And then I can give you guys an even better montage. Because the more subs I get, the better the montages get. I'll probably even have to let some other people off YouTube, you know, help me out with all the special effects and stuff. Because I'm not all that great with, you know flash and 3d ed editor and all that other stuff you know so there you go the montages will be coming when i get those subs in but anyways this 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 video right here is that nice little snd on firing range with that extra raw m16 i don't know why people don't use this i mean i know it kind of failed just then but that was because they have this big ass unnecessary table sitting in the middle of a tore down portable. Look like it's been through World War II. But anyways, this is a beast gun. The M16 is beast. You can't get more beast than an M16 than maybe with the M, not M, but G11. M11. What was I thinking? I was thinking of a pistol. Anyways. But I mean, think about it. It's three bursts. It kills two shots to the head, three to the body. If you're like within its range, because the M16 has the longest range, the longest effective range out of all of the assault rifles in the game. So you can snipe people with the M16 effectively. It's a boss weapon. Like you can't compare to the M16. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh no, you can't on the Galil and the Moss and do 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 and da da da. I don't care. The M16 is real. You don't even have to put all the fancy attachments on it. Everybody gotta put a red dot or a silencer or extended mags on their stuff. I don't have to put all that on there to be effective with my M16. I mean, I choose to sometimes. The only the only attachment I see that can make the M16 better is that underbarrel shotgun. That master key. That's what's the, that's what would make this gun better. Cause you know the M the only thing the M16 is not that great at is that CQ CQC that close quarters combat. Cause you know people be running out of fast and you're trying to three burst and you can't do that unless you got that extra fire aim and you can just like aimbot that you know. But we ain't all got aimbot. We don't all go spend our money trying to hack our M16s. You know we like to play straight up. I put that underbarrel shotgun on with my motion sensor covering my behind. I just hit up that motion sensor, put it down. I see someone pop up on that radar. Master key time. And look at that blast to the face. He took that. He took that like it was nothing. Well, he took it like it was something because he died. And yeah, like if you've ever used the M16, see how beast that was? I even got that off before I died. See, we could have won that 4-0 and if they weren't all camping in there like a bunch of noobs, but they were. So, we lost, but we still win because we're real. And I go like beast with this M16 at the end. I I, I'm going to show you all the score of how beast it was so y'all can really see. Look at, look at this carnage. This is like cross-map stuff right here you pulling off with that M16. Oh man, but really though, I want to thank Aversion Gaming like a lot for this chance to be on the channel. 
I'm gonna be putting up that Battlefield 3 commentaries on their channel. And they 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 I hope I, I think they're gonna love it because I was I was pretty darn boss in Battlefield Bad Company 2. And I'm gonna be even more boss in Battlefield 3. I mean I've done seen the loadout and everything on that game and it looks so good. I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to using that AK-74M. Y'all ain't never heard of that. I know that was a fail and all. I had my flag jacket, but Claymore's a killer. Anyways, that M, that, that AK-74M, it's looking real nice. I saw the snapshot of it and everything when I was looking at game response, uh, like, what do you want to call it? observation or breakdown breakdown yeah that's it that breakdown of the trailer and they looked at the kill feed and everything they saw the weapons that people were using and they showed a snapshot that ak-74m is looking so boss it's so sexy and slim like that and i'm i'm loving it I, it's probably better than the 74u i saw a snapshot i'm um, not a snapshot but i saw the irons aiming in on it in the trailer and the irons on the 74u don't look that great and that was a awesome grenade toss only bosses like big Niles can throw grenades like that and get kills you know and what ha happened here was I kinda paused it but I didn't know I paused it so I was just sitting there cause I hadn't realized that um, when I put the controller down I paused it but we continue now and I'm gonna wrap this up cause this is over we dominated we beasted on these boys I go 10 and 3 or 10 and 4, and I'm about to get this last kill cam in 3, 2, 1. What you doing, son? Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.